This is how to do a cool and change on a Mini Cooper Countryman R60. Alright guys, so first step, jack up your car. Hello? So you're coming up on the ramps. Alright. Right, so the car is jacked up and we're gonna work right on my hand now. Alright guys, so the first step, we got the car jacked up. Right here, then we remove the coolant to reservoir cap here and we're going to be removing the lower radiator hose down in the bottom there and drain the coolant, so let's go. Alright guys, so we have actually removing this on the shield here, three Phillips bolts and it's removed. Alright guys, so I just removed this hose clamp, it was higher up here, just use the pliers, hold it here and pull it down. And now we're going to be removing the hose completely to let the coolant drain into this pan we have here. So set your pan directly underneath and it's going to come out with a bit of pressure. So you need to make sure you have a big enough pan for it not to spill on the ground. So we have a machine jacking the rear of the car. This is to lift the rear of the car a little bit so that we can get the remaining coolant to drain out at the front. Right, so you can see there we have the remainder of the coolant draining as the rear is being hoisted. Have the front of the car angle downwards and the rest of the coolant draining out here. So this is the angle the car is at currently. Alright guys, so next step you're going to reattach the hose after the coolant has stopped draining and we're going to reattach the hose and we secure the clamp back again onto the same position that it came off from. Filling coolant here now. After securing the hose on the bottom, put back on your hose clamp. Filling coolant, fill it all the way up. You can use a funnel, but if you're skilled enough, you can do it freehand. So you're going to want to fill it all the way up because you have to bleed the system also. So right now we have the car, the front of the car up on a ramp. So this reservoir here will be the highest point. As you can see if you look straight on, the reservoir here is the highest point. So it would automatically bleed. So as you can see there's bubbles happening inside here. You can see the tank is bubbling there. and then. Also, we're going to start the vehicle now and let the system bleed itself. Alright guys, 
Alright, so with the vehicle start, you can see the coolant has already started going down. So it's bleeding through the system. You're going to want to turn on your AC on the hot mode and the lowest setting. So turn your heat all the way up and turn your AC on the lowest setting. Alright guys, so while you have the engine running with the AC on, just gonna check back and make sure all the hoses have no leaks. Actually where this connects is the drain the cooler. We have a mission that they are checking down the hose to make sure we have no leaks. Looks all good so far. So he's gonna be replacing the shield while the um, system is bleeding itself. That's going to be replacing the shield on the front right hand side. Alright guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Drop a like and comment below. If you have any requests or any questions, drop it in the comments and we'll answer you. If you have any other questions or concerns, DM us on Instagram. Like and follow. Share all the socials. And if you need any car repairs done, hit up Trinidad US Specialist on Instagram, Facebook, all the socials. That's it. Like and subscribe. It's your boy Amrish and actually behind the camera. Peace out.